What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another episode of Weekend Watch. This is where I let you know how movies performed at previous weekend box office, but I also let you know what's new coming out to movie theaters this weekend, but also onto streaming services so you can decide for yourselves if you want to go out or if you'd rather stay in. Now one of the biggest movie franchises of all time is making its big return this summer, and that is Fast 9. Now in the US it's premiering June 25th. However, I read in an article earlier today that China is actually going to be debuting Fast 9 on May 21st. That is five weeks ahead of schedule of the US. Why is this occurring? <laughs> What's going on? Simple fact, Overseas markets are confident in their movie theaters. They're confident that they are safe and they want people to come out and see this movie. Look at the overseas total for Godzilla vs. Kong. They're obviously correct. The majority of that worldwide money is from overseas. And I'm going to get to that once we talk about Godzilla vs. Kong. But getting back to Fast 9 really quick. China is the second biggest movie market in the world. This is nothing but a good sign for Fast 9. It's going to make a lot of money, especially because, especially in China, they really love the Fast and the Furious franchise. So I'm predicting that Fast 9 is going to make a buttload of money when it debuts. Now, China is not the only country doing this. Russia, Vietnam, Singapore, all sorts of countries overseas are going to be debuting Fast 9 over the course of late May into early June, and then it will finally drop in the U.S. on June 25th. The one negative side of this is that us in the United States are going to have to avoid spoilers as much as possible because of the early debut overseas. But I guess, you know, we'll just have to deal with that. As long as it makes money, that's all I care about. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, how did Godzilla vs. Kong do in weekend number three, at the box office. 7.7 .7 million. Not horrible. Of course, it's going to drop down. It's in its third weekend. We're still in a pandemic. Of course, the numbers are not going to be sky high. However, the good sign is that in three weekends, we've, ate, we've made $80 million. Nothing to sneeze at in the situation that we're in. Grand total worldwide, $390 million, almost $400 million. Now you can understand why I mentioned the first story. Worldwide box office, overseas box office in particular, is super important. So this is nothing of good news for Fast 9. I am excited. I hope they make a lot of money overseas. And here, of course. Now, in second place is nobody. Nobody is holding in strong. This is great for Bob Odenkirk. It means that he can hold on to a movie. He is an, an action star, I guess. I don't poor man's John Wick. But it's holding in at number two with two and a half million. And the unholy, that small little horror movie that did no marketing or advertising campaign, is holding at number in the number three spot with two million dollars. So you can't really complain about that considering it's up against the other monster movie and we're in the pandemic. So those are the numbers for this weekend in the top three. But the big new release this weekend is obviously Mortal Kombat. We've been waiting for this one. Now it's a part of the deal. It's going to be new in theaters, but also debuting on HBO Max on the same day. So if you want to make that choice between theaters and staying at home, I do have to say this. Just really quickly, if you are able to go to your theater and you really want to see Mortal Kombat, make the choice to go to your theater. If you feel safe enough, please go out and support your local movie theater because there's been a lot of stories lately about iconic movie theaters, staples that have been around forever for so long have been permanently shutting down because they just cannot sustain themselves in the situation that we're currently in. I don't want movie theaters to go away forever. We have to support them. So is it convenient to stay at home? Yes, it is. But if you have the option to go to your theater, I suggest that you do that. Just like how we want to keep physical media alive, I want to keep movie theaters alive. So please go out and support your local movie theater if possible. So that is the new release into theaters. What's going on in streaming? Obviously what I just said, Mortal Kombat is coming to HBO Max, but also we have other choices if you're not into Mortal Kombat. Over on Netflix, we have a movie called Stowaway. It's about someone that stows away accidentally with a space crew, apparently. 
a little bit interesting. There's also, also a series called Shadow and Bone on Netflix. If that's not your cup of tea, over on Hulu, there is Wild Mountain Time with Jamie Dornan and Emily Blunt. Kind of looks like a serious drama. And then, of course, over on Disney+, Plus, we have the Falcon and the Winter Soldier finale. This is it. We've done all the six episodes. It all comes down to this. I'm personally excited for this finale. I cannot wait. So that's what's going on in movie theaters, but also on streaming. Let me know down below, where are you going to go to see Mortal Kombat? Theater? or HBO Max. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.